Yo, what's up everybody? So I was uh, working on some stuff uh, earlier and I hadn't had this thought because, okay, so I've been playing, I've been spare time in some Final Fantasy VI again, uh, just in my spare time at the end of the night, 30 minutes to an hour, just playing, doing some grinding, all that kind of stuff. So it's got me really in the mood for some classic Final Fantasy. It's got me in the mood for some old school kind of story dynamics with Final Fantasy with the crystals and it's given me a fever, a fever. And the only prescription is another Final Fantasy 16 trailer. That's right, I am hype for Final Fantasy 16. This is a hype check, right? This is a hype check, everybody. So I wanna know where your hype levels are in the comments below. Let me know how hype you are for 16. I would say on a scale, of one to ten, just basic stuff. It's it's right at around a nine. It's right and for me to be excited for something because my level of excitement's usually around a, a seven, seven and a half. If I'm eight, if I'm really excited, I'm at a nine. Like if I if I start pushing past nine, I'm like fiending for something, and that hardly ever happens, right? But we're getting there because the more I think about sixteen, and the more I watch this trailer that's rolling in the video right now the more excited I am. And this is an old build of the game right here. This is an old build on a PC, like a really powerful computer, right? This isn't even running on a PS5, I don't think, uh, if, if I recall correctly. It's been six months, right, since that dropped. But I am excited. I can't wait. I'm hoping Square Enix has something to show us very soon. I still think there is an outside shot that we get Final Fantasy 16 around November of this year. Holiday season 2021, I, th I think there's a good chance we could get it. They've been very hush-hush, and what does Square Enix do when they're being very hush-hush on something? They're about to drop something. Now we know Intergrade's coming, right? We know they were working on that, but this is one of the big projects they've been working on for a number of years now, and I think it's probably ready to drop. So I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to, you know, the story, how, how they're going to piece together the, the the story dynamic with the old world way of telling, like with the crystals and the way things are set up. I did play, okay, so I know a lot of this is Final Fantasy XIV, right? The team building it is the Realm Reborn team, uh, the, the, the producer Yoshi P, even the director that's on it is part of the Realm Reborn. So it's, it's the team that came out with and basically breathed new life into 14, right? So I'm excited for that. So I think we kind of have a feeling about how the story is going to feel based on that, which would be good because 14 story is great. I haven't been able to play 14 in a couple of years, but the story is great. I do keep up with it. I do keep up with it. So even though I just don't have any time to play it, I wish I did. I just don't have the time dump, the free time necessary to play 14. I wish I did. Everybody and anybody has been asking me to jump in and on their server and play with them. So I, I, I want to, I don't have time. <laughs> but that's another reason why I am really excited for 16 because I, in a way, I will get to experience what all of you all have been getting to experience all this time. The story looks brutal. The story looks heavy and brutal, and that's exactly what I want. I, that's that's what I want. Like, 15 story, like when it first gets off, when, when you first set out before you realize kind of ultimately what 15 is and what it does, starts off kind of heavy, kind of brutal. You know, you lose your dad, you know, the king, and, you know, your, your home is destroyed or falls to this other empire. But, you know, we, we know it wasn't executed very well. That's that's in the past. This, I've got faith in this. I've got a lot of faith in this. I've got a lot of hype for this. Because it's a revenge story. It looks like a very dark revenge story. Right from the time you... Okay, so the storytelling in this, just from the trailer, from the moment you finish the trailer, it tells you... It doesn't tell you Clive's name. We found that out later. But the, the character with the scar, we now know that's Clive. It's, you get to play as him young, and you get to play as him older on his quest for vengeance. We knew that the second that trailer was over. 
And a lot of movies and games will drag their feet on that concept. Drag their feet on it. Oh, we're going to leave you guessing on who the young guy is. Oh, we're going to leave you guessing on who the old, older guy is, too. Ooh, look at us. We're being creative. No, Square Enix is like, this is the same dude. Here you go. <laughs> this, is, this is not the only trick we have up our sleeve for this game. This is not the only storytelling dynamic we have up our sleeve for this game. One Trick Ponies do that. One Trick Ponies, as far as movies go and games go, would leave you hanging on that. That would be like the selling point. Square Enix, from a creative standpoint, was like, no, 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 no. We've got all kinds of stuff. This is nothing. Wait till you see what we've got coming in this game. Bravo. Bravo. Because it that trailer, that one trailer was like a pivot. Almost like a pivot creatively for Square Enix, right? It has a very Western influence like a, a very western storytelling feel to it right and don't get me wrong i love like a lot of the the, the eastern inspired games and stuff that come out but this is kind of a pivot for, uh, a little bit thematically as far as going for the brutality right the blood the brutality that it showed in the trailer the, the 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 image of whoever the icon is or whoever the uh dominant is that turns into the ifrit uh icon the image of it standing there him or her we don't know who it is but the person like floating there in the air just like a, a mass of like this lava person looking thing with heat and flames around it and that was dark it's it starts really dark and it's unrelenting and the the music in the trailer the music is so good the music is so good like I, I got chills after the first time I watched the trailer and that's the thing that's got me so hyped because they haven't shown us anything else we're getting to a point now where we don't need to see anything else right because I feel like the Final Fantasy community is going to buy this game they know there's a inset buy a buyer base for this game and i don't want to sound too entitled like okay it's time you all need to drop another trailer now they don't need to do jack would i like to see a new trailer soon very very much so yes i would like to see the new trailer i'm gonna make a bold prediction i'm gonna say the next trailer has a release date i'm gonna say the next trailer is a release date trailer I think we're going to get a nice meaty trailer. It won't give us too much, but it'll give us a little bit more, right? As far as like the direction of the story and the tale and all that kind of stuff. And I also feel like there will be a release date on that trailer. I, I think, I think that's what they might do, but the characters look great in it. And it's, it's very, it very much borrows from it, the look and the feel of the tension and everything kind of borrows of course heavily from final fantasy 14 but there are of course touches of devil may cry from the combat because they 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 pilfered capcom's battle designer one of capcom's battle designers to do the the battle design in this game it's got it's got touches and flair of like the witcher and like there's a little touch and flair of elder scrolls in there and it borrows from all of these great uh, period kind of fantasy things. And at the same time, does its own thing. It takes it back to its roots. And this is a great reset button for Final Fantasy. It's a great reset button for Final Fantasy. You all know I love Remake. I can't wait for more Final Fantasy VII Remake. But every Final Fantasy shouldn't be like future steampunk kind of thing. Take it back, baby. Take it back. Like Final Fantasy 13 was interesting, but at the end of the day, that story was not executed well. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. I know that it has its fans. It has its loyal, very loyal fan base. I'm a 12 guy. I love Final Fantasy 12, and you all have broke out the pitchforks and torches on me while I told you all that's in my top five Final Fantasies of all time. I still hold to it. I'm doubling down on it. Final Fantasy 12 is one of my favorite Final Fantasies of all time. Anytime you give me a Final Fantasy in like an Ivalis type of world, chef's kiss, baby. I'm all in. So that's one of the things I'm interested in with 16 too. I can't wait to see the cities and the king, the capitals of the different kingdoms and stuff because you know, I, well, we don't know, but 
I, I'm anticipating this big icon battle, like, defending like a big city. Like, maybe it spills into the city or something. I mean, how cool would that be? Almost like the end of Oblivion when Mayroon's Dagon comes, uh, uh, you know, traipsing into Cyrodiil, you know? I mean, I, <laughs> I, of course, that did not look good on PS3, Xbox 360. It didn't look good, right? But you, 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 got, the, you got the gravity of the effect, right? So... But yeah, th this could be very cool. This could be this could be one of the, I, I don't want to overhype you all, right? This is a hype check. This is not a hyping. This is, I'm not trying to fluff your hype, right? This is a hype check. But I feel like this could be not SquareSoft, not SquareSoft, but one of Square Enix's best games they've ever done. I really, I really feel that way. Not SquareSoft. Not Enix. But, well, I guess this will be, probably be the best game Enix was ever associated with, too. But this has the promise, the look, the feel, the possibility to be Square Enix's best game they've ever produced. So, I'm going to leave it at that for a quick hype check on Final Fantasy 16. Let me know where you're at. Let me know where you're at. I want to know where you all are on this. What's your temperature? I got a fever right now. The only prescription is the new Final Fantasy 16 trailer. So, anyway, y'all have a great day. Keep rocking. Be safe out there. Be good to each other. And, of course, I will see you all in the next video.